Making money in Pokemon is easy. Let me show you. Commence introduction sequence. Actually, let's just skip that and start game. So here we are in a random Pokemon center of no current significance. Cue reason to leave. Now, Lumi City is very important, but not for making money, so let us eject ourselves from this place and engage flying sequence. We relocate ourselves to Camphor Town, which is the nearest location to the gold mine of Pokemon X and Y. It is an absolute requirement that Pokemon perform backflips when exiting and entering their friendly enslavement capsules, so let us celebrate this occasion and carry out some backflips of our own. This part is not very important to making money. Out. It appears I have just skated into the side of a building. And now we move towards Battle Chateau. Let us speed up these travel times by making a bicycle instantly appear from underneath us. These bicycles have employed interesting technologies allowing them to ignore possible complications of stairs, or colliding with objects at full speed. Having friends makes this possible to do just that little bit more frequently, so I'm going to connect to the internet and demand, uh, I mean, share O powers. One thing that is very impressive about this game is how quickly it saves. One thing that is not very impressive is how long it takes to connect to the internet. Shiny Swanloon! Hello! Sup? And now we look at O powers. Specifically, prize money power. Very important for making money. Also note that at the bottom right of my bottom screen, at the bottom right of this video, the number of Four. It appears that for a thousand plus steps will grant you an O-Power recharge speed four times greater than usual. Very useful for leveling up your powers, being overpowered pretty much all the time, and of course, making money. Unfortunately, this resets at midnight, so I recommend taking your 3DS for a walk first thing in the morning prior to playing the game. I suggest you get off your butt. Go for a walk to the nearest shop and buy some chocolate. Don't just sit there looking awkward shaking your 3DS. That's right, I'm suggesting counterintuitive exercise here. You can cast these O powers on yourself plus friend, or give to a specific friend. Giving to a specific friend costs less, so is useful to level up or use powers quicker. Also important to make money, very important, is that the key player that you're going to be using has the amulet coin equipped. In this case, my Sylveon. Amulet coin plus prize money level 3 means double money times triple money, giving you 6 times money as rewards. Now, because prize money has a 3 minute time limit, I highly suggest that you go into options and turn off battle effects during your money-making escapades. And now we ready ourselves for a six-minute money-making sprint. But first, let us check for a before and after of our funds. 287,499 I'm gonna use the powers of video editing to press the fast forward button. Just mucking around a bit, waiting for my power to recharge. Interestingly, if your recharge speed is at one times, it's about five minutes per circle. Nice. And here we go. Just going into O powers, and for the first time, I'm going to cast it on myself, where somebody else on my friends list will be able to receive the power at their leisure. Note, if you do not have the 4 times regeneration speed, you will not recover enough power in time to cast this again once the 3 minutes runs out. In this case, I suggest that you pair up with a friend and give each other the powers, as this way it costs less. And now battle!
Oops. Press B to decline. Two attacks has earned me 25,200. Next. Spot of bother, there's nobody in this room. Surely that won't be the case twice in a row? Fantastic. Now give me your money. This is the part where I make a panda which stares at me funny retreat with a squeaky pink thing. One attack, 24k. Not too bad, but I desire more. Next. Ah, where are my manners? We can't neglect inflicting serious pain to younger girls' pets and taking their money as well now, can we? Another 25,200 in the bank. We should be able to get one more battle out before the power runs out. Oh, I hello. Give me money. Interestingly, these powers never run out during a sequence of battles, such as fine dining in Lumio City. So you can work with a friend and give each other both money and experience buffs prior to starting, say the three star dining, and more than make your money back, plus gain a whole bunch of levels. Could it be better than grinding the Elite Four? The Elite Four? Alright, 30,000. That brings us to a total of 104,400. As we can see, the power has run out after the end of the battle. And it looks like we still have room to activate another 3 minute bout. This time, to be slightly different, I'm going to hunt out Ran from my friends list and grant him the prize money buff and then listen to this character's music while I wait for Ran to grant me the same power. So when you first enter the chateau, you are given a rank. Pretty much the bottom of the ring. Very common in video games. Which means that the money that you earn here starts off reasonably low and gets progressively better over time. The chateau itself refills itself during the day. So basically, you come in here, you spend less than 10 minutes to clear the floor, and then come back maybe 30 minutes or an hour later and repeat. Ah, there we go, thanking you ran for the powers. And now for the parts two.
We are rewarded with 15,120, bringing our total now to 119,520. And no, Chespin, you cannot evolve, especially because we are in a time constraint right now. We now track down person number two. Ah, that bell marks the momentous occasion of another member joining us for me to take money from. Greetings, Baroness. How much money do you have to give to me today? Eighteen thousand next. You look the same, but will you pay the same? Thirty thousand more. That brings the total to one hundred and sixty-seven thousand five hundred and twenty. Duh. It appears that this one has no interest in battles. I don't like that person very much. Ah, Estelle, you are the one that recently joined us, making that bell go off, cutting into my money-making time. No matter, that means you're here now, and that is what matters. Now give me money. Level 15, that doesn't sound very promising. Yeah, 10,800. Better than nothing, I suppose. Oh look, my power fell off. That brings the total earnings to 178,320. Which means my wallet should now comprise of 465,819. Yes. Now. This NPC over here allows you to send out writs. Now they may cost a lot, like 100,000. But in doing so, the Chateau will refill with better quality members, including gym leaders, and they give you lots of money. So do it! Now, just like the power recharge speed resetting at midnight, so does the Ritz. So, basically, you want to do this first thing in the morning, and pretty much just keep coming back all day. But then again, you probably make that money back in one trip anyway. Up to you. And now we go shopping, spending the money that we just earned. Now there's that really expensive boutique. Which, that NPC rumors that there is a discount card. But, we've got backflipping birds and goldmine chateaus to fill our money quick enough to enjoy our expensive clothes and fine dining needs in no time. Discounts? Bah! I can make the money fast enough anyway, who cares? Alright, let's see what we haven't got yet. Pleated skirt. Bye. Oh look, and in time you said that's gonna cost me about 410k. Oh no, I'm gonna have to wait another half hour for that. Nothing new here. Ooh, nice hat. Oh, 
All right, viewers, thank you for watching. I shall leave you to enjoy the remainder of this video and your own money making as I have done mine. Yes, yes.